to St Luke's. The service will begin shortly. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. God of glory, by the raising of your Son, you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope, for a new day has dawned, and the way to life stands open in our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Psalm 66, verses 8 to 20. Praise our God, all peoples, let the sound of his praise be heard. He has preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping. For you, God tested us, you refined us like silver. You brought us into prison and laid burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us to a place of abundance. I will come to your temple with burnt offerings and fulfil my vows to you. Vows, my lips promised and my mouth spoke when I was in trouble. I will sacrifice fat animals to you and an offering of rams. I will offer bulls and goats. Come and hear all you who fear God. Let me tell you what he has done for me. I cried out to him with my mouth, his praise was on my tongue. If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God has surely listened and has heard my prayer. Praise be to God, who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love for me. Glory, Glory be, be to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Gospel according to John, chapter 14, verses 15 to 21. If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept him, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans, I will come to you. Before long the world will not see me any more, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day you will realise that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Collect for the Sixth Sunday of Easter Risen Christ 
by the lakeside you renewed your call to your disciples. Help your church to obey your command, and draw the nations to the fire of your love, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. God our Father, we know that you are always with us, even when you seem to be far off. We pray that you will make your presence known to all those who are ill, anxious or afraid at this time. Help us to find new ways of reaching out to those who need to hear the good news of your love for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God our Saviour, you promised your disciples that although you would no longer be with them in human form, you would not leave them bereft. Comfort all those who are mourning the loss of loved ones, or who are sad because they cannot visit friends and family. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, our Counselor, Jesus promised that you would come to inspire his followers with wisdom and power to do your work. Give us courage and resourcefulness to carry on however difficult the road ahead may appear. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Receive these prayers, O God, and transform us through them that we may have eyes to see and hearts to understand not only what you do on our behalf, but what you call us to do, that your realm will come to fruition in glory. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God our Father, whose Son Jesus Christ gives the water of eternal life, may we thirst for you, the spring of life and source of goodness, through him who is alive and reigns, now and for ever. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may find comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Thank you for coming. Please add a comment below to let me know you are here. If you don't mind sharing your name and where you're watching from, please do. Please also tell me if you have any requests for things to include in future services, or if you'd like to volunteer to record a prayer or a reading, or perhaps a hymn. I hope you enjoyed coming to our virtual service. I'll be back next Sunday at the same time, 9.30. I hope you'll be here too.